you started a patient on oral warfarin which of the following factors show the most rapid decline in the blood levels after the initiation of warfarin therapy so first of all warfarin therapy is being asked here and you have to mark which which factor shows the most rapid decline in the blood levels after initiation of warfarin so that is protein c okay so protein c has a half life of protein c has a half life of 8 hours okay so here and also if we had here option as factor 7 that has a half life of 6 hours okay so but now we don't have here factor 7 in the options we will mark protein c here as an answer now c warfarin is a recipe mixture of rns isomers it is more active s warfarin is more active protein c has a shorter half life than most clotting factors it has a half life of 8 hours so this is the first factor to decline first factor to decline would be what protein c okay and its deficiency may lead to dermal vascular necrosis and hypercoagulation this protein c is anti clotting as early as appearing three to two days after initiation of therapy adverse effects of warfarin and other drugs of this group. among clotting factors first to disappear is factor 7 now if clotting factors or coagulation factors we are asked among clotting factors then factor 7 factor 7 is the first one to disappear as it is a t half of 6 hours only okay and last one is factor 2 now these are two very important potential questions okay these are two very important potential questions which clotting factor has the least half life which has the most half life which is the first one to disappear which is the last one to disappear on oral warfarin therapy okay so now due to this the effect of oral anticoagulants is always delayed develops gradually over one to three days and these are thus used for maintenance of anticoagulation rather than initiation of treatment okay now we will see some important points important points see antiplatelet drugs like aspirin and clopidogrel they prolong the bleeding time these are important mcqs okay these are important mcqs here and you get them direct as questions so antiplatelet drugs like aspirin and clopidogrel prolong the bleeding time. Anticoagulant drugs they prolong the clotting time. Okay. Anticoagulant drugs they prolong the clotting time. Antiplatelet prolong the bleeding time. Okay. So these are important points. Bleeding time. Anticoagulant. Clotting time. Okay. Drugs interfering with intrinsic pathway like heparin. Drugs which interfere with intrinsic pathway, example is heparin, they prolong the APTT, and drugs which interfere with the extrinsic pathway, like warfarin, prolong the PT, prothrombin time. Okay. Then thrombin time is prolonged in case of A fibrinogenemia and dysfibrinogenemia. Okay. So these are some important points. Now, C, protein C, approximately how values of factor 7, factor 9, factor 10, factor 2 are 6, 24, 32, 50 are. This you should know. Important question. Protein C and protein S are 8 and 24 are respectively. Okay. So now, now see in this question, if you had got this question as option 1, factor 7. Option 2, protein C. 3, factor 10. And 4, thrombin. Then also your correct answer would be factor 7. If same question is there, options are changed from factor 8 to factor 7 then also the correct answer would be factor 7 why because it has a half life of 6 hours and protein c has a half life of 8 hours okay so here the most rapid decline immediately will be first decline would be here in this factor 7 okay but now here since we do not have any factor 7 in the options so correct answer would be option 2 only so option 2 protein c is the correct answer here